Welcome back. So, Rob Torson from Code Research Institute is going to tell us a little bit about his stand next. So, what are you demonstrating here at Digital Transformation? Okay, so, um, well, Code stands for Cultures of the Digital Economy Research Institute. So, that's really where uh, digital technology and the evolution of digital uh, systems, how that uh, influences our cultural and creative uh, way of life, I suppose, and, and, and the projects that we get involved in are all about that intersection between arts and uh, arts and creativity meets science, technology, engineering and so on. Um, I mean, we've got a few projects here which are, a number of the projects actually are sort of sound based. So actually looking at using technology to generate sound. In many respects, they're all quite similar in that they've all got, um, they've all got sensors. So there's all some kind of unique sensors and those sensors may be electronic or they may be physical. Um, or they may even be inputs from a computer computer system. They've all got some form of processing, so that's some kind of software, some kind of algorithm that's actually taking that sensor information, doing something with it, processing it, and obviously they've all got outputs as well. And those outputs can be sonic, so we can hear them. Actually, this one Richard's working on at the moment is also generating musical scores. So, so as he's playing with these pieces of conductive material, it's generating some music, it's also generating some, some sound. Uh, Richard's used these for a number of performances, live performances with, with dancers. So, so we're looking at, uh, um, at, at drama and, and sound performance uh, and, and, and looking at just exploring and enhancing the types of performance opportunities we've got. Um, I mean, other projects we've got, again, just, just keeping on sound for the time being, uh, we've been using some conductive ink through Bear Conductive, who have also been here today, yeah. and that's, uh, that's where we can actually use the ink itself as a, as a sensor. So we've, we've built, um, with, with artists, we've built uh, paintings which have actually got, been painted with conductive ink. So actually, as you touch the ink, as you touch the painting, you can, uh, you can trigger events. Those might be sounds. Effectively, the, the prototype we've built has been a painting which, as you touch it, it, it's, it kind of sings to you. So it's got loudspeakers built into the painting. Okay. Um, we're also looking at, uh, at how that, that works in a kind of a... Um, well, looking at sensors and interfaces for uh, music therapy. So, so not just art, not just, not just uh, creative but actually for, um, for therapeutic purposes as well. So things like taking a traditional music instrument and saying, what can we do differently if we had a digital instrument? So what are the things that a, a piano can't do in a music therapy context? Uh, clearly a piano is very good at making music, yeah. but it's not very good at uh, recording data or at, um, inf or, or at allowing remote access to... to, to uh, to facilities, it's not very good at changing the way it works. So with software, we can actually we can actually make things dynamic and make them make them work differently on different occasions, or or get harder, or get simpler. You know, a piano is always a piano. That's yeah. fantastic, but yeah. but digital gives us new opportunities and, and, and an extra tool, another tool in the toolkit. Let's say. So um, yeah, lots of things. Yes, awful, awful lot of things. <laughs> um, so. What excites you about this this theme? Why, why have you come to this particular event to well, discuss? <laughs> I mean, we're here today because it mainly because a a because it defines a little bit about what we've been talking about: digital transformations taking. And I, I sort of believe that digital transformations. I think there's a lot of ways you can uh, you can define what what is digital transformations. Yes. For me, one of the one of the interesting aspects is not how not what's what can we do that's new with digital technology, but how can we use digital technology to enhance and maintain some of the, some of the old technologies, the analog, the analog systems that, that we don't want to ever forget about. I mean, there's a big, if everything becomes digital in a computer, uh, noughts and ones, it, it loses some of its romanticism. And, and, and creativity is all about the physicality and the physical. And so sensors are always, they'll always be analog. Sound yeah. will always be analog. So I'm kind of interested in, um, in how we enhance that. So how does digital make, how does it grow uh, the, the, the technology that we've got? Not, not how does it replace some old, some old technology. Um, and the other reason we're here today is because the, this is all the right people under the same roof and, and we get a chance to interact with, with, with people who are doing similar things, um, 
things that will um, that will you know parallel things that we can actually contribute to and and and, and build some connections and uh, collaborative opportunities. Um, yeah, it's. It's, 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 there's a bit of a buzz today. Yeah. It's good. Have you had a chance to have a wander around and see some of the other things yeah. on display? Yeah, I have. Not as much as some of my colleagues who have, uh, who have been going around and, uh, and making contacts. But to be honest, just standing still, we've had so many people come and talk to us. Yeah. Um, very interested in what we're doing, very interested in, 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 in opportunities for how we can engage with what they're doing. And clearly around the room, there's, there's a lot of digital and, and, and just artistic um, activity and skill and capability, expertise, that it, it's, you know, it's ironing, makes you, makes you look outside what your, your expertise is and see how you can link sideways to, to what other people are doing. Fantastic. So where can people find out a bit more information? Okay, so we're CODE, so our, our, uh, we're Culture of the Digital Economy. We're at Anglia Ruskin University, which is in Cambridge. Um, our website is www.anglia.ac.uk forward slash code and uh, so that's pretty pretty easy to find um, and yeah that we're, we're in Cambridge which is where there's a lot of things happening yes yeah. so you look you excited to hear from people who would get get involved in yeah the definitely definitely I mean we're looking at, at, at collaborating you know nationwide both academically and and on an industrial context as well I mean a lot of the research we do is very much um, exploring technologies without knowing exactly what the final kind of commercial value is going to be right. and um, and it's always good to try and find you know to try and identify where uh, where the final product might be but if you knew that at the start probably actually we wouldn't need to do the research so it's kind of like that little chicken and egg thing where you actually have to develop the technology find some partners, develop the technology a bit more, and eventually you come up with, you know, you, you get to something that's truly innovative, and, you know, it doesn't, things like that don't just fall out of the sky, no. you have to work at them. You know. Excellent, well, thank you ever so much for talking to us, and I hope that's you have right. enjoyed the rest of the day. Yeah,